Welcome students, parents, staff, and friends of Augusta County to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. I'm Eric Bond and I proudly serve as your division superintendent. Please join me throughout the year as we take a closer look at our outstanding division and how we strive to serve every child every day. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Connecting with Augusta County Schools. We are so thrilled and honored today to have as our guest, Mrs. Erica Kaysen. Ms. Kaysen has been selected to be the 2021 Augusta County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. So congratulations, Ms. Kaysen, and welcome to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure and congratulations again. We just want to take a few minutes just to chat with you today and let our listeners get to know who you are and what an outstanding teacher you are. So I appreciate your time today. Thank you. First, let's get to know you a little bit. If you can describe your educational background and experiences for our listeners, that would be great. Sure. I started college at Eastern Mennonite University after graduating from Riverheads High School. I then transferred to Mary Baldwin College to get my bachelor's degree in psychology and my teaching license. And today I actually began classes at JMU in their master's degree program in teacher leadership. Outstanding. So when we talk to most of our teachers, they typically have some inspiring story or someone who inspired them or led them or mentored them into getting to public education. Who or what influenced you or inspired you to pursue a career in public education? I've always known that I wanted to be a teacher from the time I was really little. My mother was a reading aide at Riverheads Elementary School while I was growing up and all through school. And my sister and I would always play teacher at home. And then both of us have actually ended up becoming educators while I'm a gen ed teacher. She is a sped teacher here at the same school with me, which is pretty cool. So in, in our Teacher of the Year video that we did, your principal, Mrs. Bauer Sox, talked about the innovative practices in your classroom. Could you share with our listeners one of these innovative learning experiences you've implemented? At the beginning of the school year, when we were starting to plan our plant unit, I had reached out to Bloom Maker, who was a local business here in Stuart Strath, to see if they had any kind of reading materials or learning guides or any kind of supplements we could use in the classroom. And I was told that no, they did not have any of those things and had never actually even thought about doing anything like that, but thought it would be a great addition to their website. So I then asked if my students could make those materials for them once we had completed our unit. So after we did the units, the kids worked together to create all kinds of things from crossword puzzles to word searches. They did plant diagrams and labeled the parts. They did plant care guides and everything they could think of that dealt with plants at all. So that was really exciting for the kids to be able then to go back onto their website and see the materials that they had made available for anyone to access. So it was a pretty cool project that they completed. Outstanding. So why did you find these experiences valuable for your students? So our plant project was just one of the many project-based learning activities that we completed this year. I believe that these projects are valuable to students because what we accomplish applies to the real world for them. So it's not just sitting and learning how to do math or sitting and learning how to read, but it actually shows them what they can do in the real world. They are using their five C's, the creativity, the collaboration, communication, critical thinking in every single one of these projects. And these are skills that the students are going to need no matter what the future holds for them. So I feel that connecting what we are learning to real life helps them understand the importance of what they're learning and how they can apply it to their lives. So as you move forward and continue to create 21st century learners, what excites you about the future of public education? I'm excited that the whole idea of education is changing. We now know that students are not invested in their education when it consists of teachers lecturing, students completing a multiple choice test to show knowledge, and then moving on to the next lesson. Rather, teachers are allowing students to be involved in their education. Classrooms are moving from teacher-led to student-centered. Project-based learning is taking the place of lecture-style teaching. Cross-curricular activities are being used daily so teachers aren't just reading during reading class and completing math problems during math. But instead, teachers are reading all day, students are reading all day, they're applying what they're learning in math during science lessons, and school looks a lot different now than it did when I was in school. 
I, I totally agree with that. And to, to take that a step further, they certainly looked a lot different this year, having lived through a year of the COVID-19. And again, it's certainly provided some new opportunities for us and how we've educated our children this year. Can you share any reflections or any experiences from this school year in particular that have positively impacted you as an educator having taught through a pandemic? So at first, the whole idea of online learning for my students was really scary. Um, struggling to know how to get everything accomplished with the short amount of time that we had with our students, not knowing how the students would be able to interact with the online learning, and then me not even knowing how to even begin to start with online learning with them. Um, as I learned more about it and started using it as an introduction to a unit for my students, then it started making a lot more sense to me. I could have them watch videos and do some practice with new concepts, and then I could use the very limited class time to ensure that all students understood and to have more time for individual learning. I could definitely see how using Canvas in the future could be very beneficial for students. I feel like my time with the students was more focused on what they needed individually because we got the whole group lessons done prior to class time. So changing gears a little bit, we've talked on some previous episodes of connecting with Augusta County Schools, in particular when we're talking to teachers about the teacher shortage not only in the Commonwealth but in the United States. Certainly your experiences and your wealth and expertise as a teacher are invaluable. If you were to give advice to someone who wanted to become a teacher, what would be some of that advice that would you give an aspiring teacher? So in my opinion, this is one job that you actually get to see the difference that you're making in someone else's life. Teachers get to see their students grow throughout the year and help them discover themselves as individuals. There is really no better feeling than when a student actually tells you that they love being in your classroom. Um, for some students, school is the only consistent place in their life. And knowing that you are fostering that place where your students feel safe enough to fail and not be judged by it, but rather learn from it truly is exciting. This profession is not easy, but definitely worth the reward. I couldn't agree with you more, Mrs. Kaysen, and I just want to thank you again for being a guest with us today on Connecting with Augusta County Schools. You certainly are well-deserving of the honor of Teacher of the Year, and we're so proud of you and all that you've accomplished uh, for our students and for the Stewart's Draft community. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us uh, as we close out another episode? I would just like to say how honored I am to have been chosen as this year's Teacher of the Year. There are so many deserving teachers in this county, and especially this year with everything that we had going on. But this honor really does mean a lot. Well, you're certainly deserving at it, as all of our teachers are deserving of all the accolades and the congratulations of getting through a COVID year this year. And we're certainly proud of them for everything that they have done. We know how tirelessly all of our teachers have worked, but a special congratulations to you once again. Now moving forward to the next step, which is in the running for the state teacher of the year. So we got our fingers crossed and hopefully that'll be another accolade and the success that we can have. So thank you for being on our show and we certainly look forward to great things from you in the future. Thank you. Before we fully close out our show, we have a little extra special surprise and a couple of special guests, Ms. Casey, not to shock you, but we want to hear from some of your clients. We have a couple of your students that are going to join us now. So at this point, we're going to welcome to the show Marina and Ellie, fourth graders in Ms. Kaysen's class. Ladies, welcome to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So first, Ellie, we'll start with you, okay? What is one thing that Mrs. Kaysen always says? She usually says, sorry, Charlie, or Chica a lot. <laughs> What about you, Marina? What makes Miss Kaysen a rock star teacher? She is very kind, very supportive, and very sweet. But the best thing about her is she helps you get so much better at your weaknesses. Okay. What's one word that describes Miss Kaysen and why? Sweet. Very sweet. She is very sweet and kind to us when we need help. Okay. That's super. Marina, if you could thank Miss Kaysen for one thing, what would it be? I would thank her for helping my boring old writing turn into very <laughs> creative writing, the type of writing that you just want to read more. Writing used to be a weakness for me, but now it's a big strength. I may need to get Miss Kaysen's help on that myself, so that's good to know. Ellie, what's one thing you will always remember about Mrs. Kaysen? How nice she is and how much fun we have in her classroom. I'm so glad I have her as a teacher. Fabulous. And Marina, we'll leave you with the last question of the day. Why do you like learning in Mrs. Kaysen's classroom? 
I like learning with Miss Kaysen because she doesn't just straight up give you the answer. Instead, she helps you figure it out and helps you understand the concept. Well, ladies, you've been great guests. We appreciate your input. Thank you again for all your hard work this year. I know it's been challenging, but you guys have passed with flying colors, and we're so excited that summer's getting ready to start. And again, we appreciate you being on our show today. So thank you. And congratulations again to Mrs. Kaysen for being selected Augusta County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest episodes. Our episodes can always be found on Augusta County Schools Facebook page and website.